Piping dead legs refer to sections of piping within a system that are isolated or disconnected from the main flow, resulting in stagnant or dead areas where fluid movement is minimal or non-existent. Dead legs pose several risks, including microbial growth, corrosion, contamination, and operational inefficiencies. Stagnant fluids within dead legs provide an ideal environment for microbial proliferation, leading to biofilm formation and potential contamination of the fluid passing through the system. Additionally, stagnant areas can accelerate corrosion rates, compromising the integrity of the piping and increasing the likelihood of leaks or failures. A recent incident at a refinery involved a catastrophic failure of an 8-inch diameter vertical relief line, approximately 5 meters long, during normal operation. This failure resulted in the release of approximately 75 tons of highly flammable material at elevated temperature and pressure. The relief line, which was connected to an insulated process header and vessels, experienced complete separation without insulation. Subsequent examination of the line revealed excessive internal thinning localized to the failure point, while the rest of the line exhibited relatively normal wall thickness. Although regular thickness testing was conducted at four locations along the line, no testing was performed in the area near the failure. Additionally, an adjacent relief line was found to have similar localized and severe internal corrosion that had also gone The investigation determined that significant wall loss had occurred in the failed dead leg, but this corrosion was highly localized and had been missed by the examination regime. Thickness checks were routinely conducted, but they were performed on either side of the locally corroded area. This incident underscores the risks associated with dead leg corrosion and highlights the potential inadequacy of existing integrity management regimes in addressing highly localized internal degradation, especially in the presence of thermal gradients, liquid interfaces, or other factors along the dead leg. This incident underscores the risks associated with dead leg corrosion and highlights the potential inadequacy of existing integrity management regimes in addressing highly localized internal degradation, especially in the presence of thermal gradients, liquid interfaces, or other factors along the dead leg. Importance of Comprehensive Inspection The incident highlights the critical need for thorough inspection protocols, including regular thickness testing, along the entire length of piping systems, particularly in areas prone to dead leg formations. Various non-destructive testing methods are available depending on the size and duty of the pipework, but for high-risk dead legs, a reliance on spot UT is not considered adequate and operators should ensure that a significant proportion of the entire dead leg is tested for remaining wall thickness to help identify local corrosion. Localized corrosion risks the occurrence emphasizes the risks associated with localized corrosion in dead leg sections, which may not be detected through routine inspection methods if not specifically targeted.
inadequacy of existing regimes. The incident underscores the potential inadequacy of current integrity management regimes in identifying highly localized internal degradation, especially in dead leg configurations with unique thermal gradients or liquid interfaces. Proactive risk management. Companies should proactively assess and mitigate the risks associated with dead leg corrosion by implementing robust inspection programs, considering factors such as thermal gradients and fluid interfaces, and employing preventive maintenance measures to ensure the integrity of piping systems. The companies should have program for managing dead legs. Corrosion in dead legs represents a significant threat to the integrity of process and utility piping. Dead legs should be identified and be subjected to a regular review to decide if they are still needed. Companies should consider the removal of non-essential dead legs. Dead legs can require special attention due to increased corrosion rates. Those that are not used should be removed following the management of change, mock, procedures. Review dead leg inspection results during process hazard and mock reviews. In conclusion, Addressing piping dead legs is paramount for ensuring the safety, reliability, and efficiency of operations in the petroleum industry. By proactively managing these stagnant areas, companies can safeguard infrastructure, protect personnel, and maintain operational excellence. Thank you very much for watching the video. You may consider to subscribe, like, sharing or pressing bell icon for this video if it is worth doing. Explore our YouTube channel, PetroCelt, for captivating videos covering science, engineering, technology, and energy topics. The primary aim of launching this YouTube channel is to facilitate the exchange and dissemination of knowledge and experiences among professionals and amateur.